have said that maybe what's conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, those those of us this time. And he decided to break the engagement that he had made. Those of us planning to set aside very quietly. There was a situation to set aside Mary uh, secretly, but in verse 24, the angel of the Lord appeared to him, spoke to him, spoke to Joseph, and in certain verses it says, the angel commanded to him, the angel commanded what he said, you should accept your wife, you should accept Mary. And he accepted her. I took Mary as his wife, and they became together. They became together. Together in the of uh, Joseph and Mary. The persons who were about to be separated. Joseph and Mary were about to be separated. But persons who were about to be separated became together during the birth of Christ. So, Christmas is a celebration of togetherness. Let us celebrate the birth of Christ in the sense of togetherness. Let us proclaim the birth of Christ to others with the sense of togetherness. Let us witness others the birth of Christ with the sense of togetherness. Paul wrote in Philippians chapter 2, verse 2, Agree wholeheartedly with each other, love one another, work together with one mind and one purpose. One accord, one mindedness, or a prayer message in our Christian life. Christmas is a celebration in the sense of togetherness. Secondly, Christmas reminds certain signs. Christmas reminds certain signs. Christmas is a season of signs. Every religion celebrates their own festival. Every religion, when they celebrate their own festival, they have their own signs. But Christmas has its own unique signs. It's a, sign, it's a season of signs. What are the signs during the time of Christmas? What are the signs that we have during the Advent season? Carols, stars, Christmas trees, Santa Claus, exchange of gifts, greeting each other, festivity are all the signs of Christmas. We look forward to Christmas to have all these signs. Even when we go to the shops, you can uh, see the uh, you can see the stars are being sold, or Christmas trees, or the, uh, the Santa Claus, the dresses for costumes for Santa Claus, they're all different place for sale. So this is a season of sign. And these are all the signs that human beings expect to and to practice. We wait for the Advent season to have all these signs. We wait for the Advent season to place a star in our house. We wait for the Advent, se Advent season to have a Christmas tree in our house in the church. We wait for the Advent season to have a Santa Claus to go to the houses during carol service and to greet each other. And these are all the signs that we expect and we would like to practice practices. But there are certain signs that they expect from God. These are not the signs expected by human being, but there are certain signs that God expects from us during this Advent season. What are those signs? that are expected by God. Then is written in Luke chapter 2 verse 14. Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth and goodwill to all men. This is the sign that God expects from us. Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and goodwill to all men. Glorifying God, being an instrument to bring peace among our life in our life situation, having goodwill with all men. These are the signs that God expects from us during this season. I would like to place this verse, Luke chapter 2, 14, in a reverse order. In a reverse order. It would be more meaningful if we have these signs in a reverse order. The angel told, Glory to God in the highest, 
his son yet would be to on man. But we are supposed to have, have these signs, the reverse order. Good will to all men and peace on death and glory to God. Having good will with all men will bring peace on death. Having good will with all men and having peace on death will glorify God who is in the highest. Glory to God in the highest, peace on death and good will to all men. But what we are expected to follow on a reverse side. Let us have good will with all men and have peace on the earth. By doing so, we can glorify the God who is in the hands. So these are the signs. The angels proclaim. But what we are expected to do is in the reverse order, unless and until. Unless and until we have good will with all men. Unless and until we became an instrument to bring peace to in our life situation, they cannot go and take part. And during this Christmas season, we are familiar with the passage Luke chapter 2, 14. What, as we all know, that glory to God in the highest, peace on the earth, and good will to all man. Let us practice this verse, verse in the reverse song. Let us have good will with all men. By doing so, we can be an instrument for bringing peace in our life situation. By doing that, we can glorify the God who is in the highest. Creation with the signs that God expects from us. Let us unite, let us be united together. And act as an instrument of bringing peace wherever we live in our life situation. And let us be an instrument to establish the signs that God expects from every one of us during this Advent season. Wishing you all a happy and meaningful.